Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review video for you all on a foundation that I've been absolutely adoring lately. It is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, I'll have a side panel, side panel, I don't know what side, but I'll have a side panel showing you how it applies onto the skin. Basically I'm just going to do a quick review and demo of how this foundation works for me. So the one thing that I hate about this foundation is the packaging. It's beautiful, but I hate it at the same time. It's a frosted glass packaging with a gold twist off cap. And then you have to pour the foundation out onto the back of your hand, a palette, or use your finger and apply it directly to your face. I personally apply it to a palette um, or just a surface, a clean surface, and then I apply it to my face. I do find that this foundation gives on the first layer, it doesn't cover up my redness completely. My main areas of concern are my redness um, and then just evening out the skin tone. I feel like one layer doesn't give me enough coverage to be called full coverage, but two layers like I have on right now, I would definitely say this is very full coverage. I do think that it is nicer than the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation, which used to be my holy grail full coverage foundation for if I wanted full coverage. Um, when I'm looking for a full coverage foundation, I want it to cover my redness. That is my main concern. I don't really have acne. I don't really have anything else. It's just my redness that I want to cover and it's mainly just on my cheeks. Now, if you're wondering, I do have normal combination skin, so I get slightly oily, but mainly my skin is normal. I do get a decent amount of wear with this foundation. I, yeah, it's significantly long wear. At the moment, I haven't even set my foundation with a powder. Um, I've just used a bit of bronzer and a bit of highlight, but that's all the setting that I've done. And I do feel like I can get a full day's wear out of this foundation. All I need to do is powder my nose maybe midway through the day and I'm good to go. So I love this foundation because it just looks so amazing on the skin. It's what I have on my face right now and it just looks so beautiful on the skin. Now obviously it looks like you're wearing foundation. Any full coverage foundation will make it look like you're wearing foundation. I don't care what anyone says. If you're wearing a full coverage foundation, you look like you're wearing foundation. It's just how much foundation does it look like you're wearing. Now, this definitely doesn't look as thick as the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation, and it's also a lot easier to blend. I feel like with the Kat Von D, I need to use a stippling brush, I need to wet it. It's just a whole ordeal for me. I used to love it, but now I definitely love this a lot more for full coverage. It doesn't emphasize the pores, which is amazing. Um, at least it doesn't emphasize them more than any other foundation would. If you have pores, it's not going to blur them, but it's not going to make them look bigger either, at least for me. I don't find that this foundation cracks, and I don't feel like if water gets on my face that like a random patch will just wipe off. So I really, really love that. I think it's super, super long wearing. Coverage is amazing. There's an exceptional amount of colors that you can choose from. Um, I don't think I told you what color I'm in. I'm in the color 2W2 Rattan, um, and there's 30 mils in this bottle. This is the shade that I'm wearing now. I am quite fake tanned. Um, yeah, I will definitely be picking this up in a few more colors because I absolutely adore it. The only thing that I don't like about this foundation is the packaging. So I do think this foundation would be great for all skin types. It really just depends on what type of primer or how you prep your skin. So if you have dry skin or like semi dry skin or even normal skin, I would probably recommend that you use a super moisturizing moisturizer and then a more nourishing face primer. That's what I do and I do find I get the best effect that way. If I use something like my Hourglass Mineral Veil that makes my face really, really matte, I do feel like it does look very, not bad, but it doesn't look great. So I do love the foundation itself, but I do think that you need to accompany it, blah, accompany it with a good primer to suit your skin type. If you need the Hourglass Mineral Veil, go for it because you're oils will break through and then it won't look so bad. For me, I do have normal combination skin, so I do find that as long as I use a nourishing face primer, so for example, the Too Faced Hangover Primer, I've been loving that with this foundation lately, I do feel like I get the best results that way. So the big question is, would I recommend this foundation? I say yes. If you can get a sample, try it out. I think it's absolutely gorgeous on the skin, but 
it is one of those personal preference things. I love a foundation that can cover up my redness for when I want to go out at night time, but I wouldn't wear this foundation on a daily basis. I love this foundation, I don't wear it every day. But if you are curious about this foundation, I would definitely, without any doubt in my mind, say go to the counter, get a sample, try it at home, try it for yourself, it's great. It doesn't dry too fast, it's blendable, there's a good shade range, so the chances are, more chances than not, you're going to find the right shade. They, they range from very light to very dark, which I love in a foundation brand because not enough foundation brands cover the whole spectrum. I think more need to take on that thought and just cater to everybody because like, how are we all supposed to pick like a foundation shade if there's only like, three shades, like seriously? <laughs> so yeah. I love this foundation. If you can get a sample, definitely check it out. I adore it. It's definitely been one of my favorites lately, especially for the hot summer climate that we're currently in at the moment. And yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below some videos that you'd like to see from me. And I will see you next time. Bye.